So, hello guys and welcome back to a new Tibos vlog. It's a new beautiful day out here in uh, Norway, Bergen. Uh, it's uh, not raining and then it's a good day for us here in Bergen. So, today, uh, as I told you yesterday, I'm going to take forward uh, and tell you guys how to become a salesman and what actually sales uh, are and how, how, it, uh, how it functions and, how, and what the fuck is sales, basically. Uh, so, the thing is, the first of all, of course, what do you think about when you hear, think about sales? You think about a dude in a, in a suit that sells shit and got a lot of money, right? Yeah, but behind the success of a dude with a suit and a lot of money is a lot of practice and a lot of psychology and a lot of sales techniques uh, for him to be able to, to buy all of that stuff as a salesman because the sales profession is indeed one of the hardest professions in the world but it's also the well, most paid profession in the world, okay? So, as Grant Cardone says, if you learn sales, you're going to be alright, man. And that, 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 I can back him on that one because uh, right now, Corona is playing in the background and we're also always going to uh, have to just have the, our music in the background so we don't get copyrighted. So, the thing is right now, guys, that the sales is becoming more and more complicated but also more and more easy to understand if you have learned the basics behind sales. Because before it wasn't that normal for people to get a dude on the door knocking and asking to uh, sell you something when you are a business owner. I can imagine if you was a hairdresser for 100 years ago, it was, of course, people coming and trying to sell you shit on the door when you was working. But right now you can probably... If you live in New York, you can probably expect to get like from five to 10 business sales calls every day if you are a business owner. So today is much harder to crush through as a sales dude and a salesman. So today I'm just going to teach you the basics, the foundation, so you can get an understanding on how the sales works. And you know why? Because as I told you yesterday, I'm going to learn Scarface, a young chess to sell their uh, package that is called the value, social value package. Uh, where we're going to sell uh, reviews, uh, real reviews on a broadcast. The broadcast is that we're sending out text messages to all of the numbers the business have collected from their customers and having a smart way to, to ask them to, to give a review. But on how we're going to get the, the sales, we, go, we have to do the sales first, okay? We have to do the sales and I have to teach these guys that are not salesmen, have never done sales. Actually rappers and um, uh, I can teach anybody to sell. First of all, the pitch. The pitch is the start in the sale. It's your 15 seconds elevator pitch. It's what you're going to say to the customer, the client on the phone or in real, real time uh, that is going to make them hook and want to talk to you even more. But it's also very important at this point to not come forward as a bloody, bloody bastard. No, as a bloody fucking salesman that just here to fucking capitalize and get all the money off the people in the end. You have to actually believe in your product and, and not come forward as a fucking salesman in the first 15 seconds. Because here is the point where you uh, separate the salesmen from the salesmen. Okay, because sales is not that you have to call as many people you can and try to trick them to fucking buy from you and having a, a clever, sneaky approach in the first 15 seconds. It's about giving a big claim, uh, introducing yourself, big claim, and then a disclaimer. And then also every time you ask something, you have to get the approval from the person you're talking with to, to keep on moving forward. Okay, I'm going to get back to you why this is important later. So guys, I'm back in the office and going to take forward how you're going to structure your sales uh, conversation pitch to actually get the sale in the end. Uh, before we start there, it's important for you guys to understand that we have at least three things that have to be fulfilled in the client's mind for you uh, to even have a chance to close the sale in the end. Okay. Uh, this will go out to you sales guys, sales personnel that are out there in the world right now and trying to sell something. Listen to this, man. Uh, the first thing, man, is that the client have to have the trust in you as a person. It has to have trust in the 
company, the business, the firm you're representing. And it also have to have trust in the product you are trying to sell to the client. And if you can think that each uh, of these criteria have one to ten, one have a one to ten scale on how the client feel, uh, you have to at least have fulfilled nine to uh, nine of ten uh, percent of uh, these three things in the client's mind to be able to to have a chance even to to close the sale. Uh, so the first thing is uh, to. As I told you guys, it's not to come off as a sales dude that you're just here to, to, to capitalize and, and take all the money of the client you're talking to. But you have to have a pitch that is going to tell the client in 15 seconds who you are, what you're going to do from them and what you are expecting from them. That's it. That's the first 15 seconds of your conversation. So you have to have a big claim and you have to have a disclaimer. Uh, uh, to to get the, the the mind of the clients uh, uh, working, and uh, so so something uh, 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 I would do something like this. I if you guys want me to write a blog post in or, or a PDF file on on a pitch, you can just fill in your details uh, of your profession and your your business, and and then try out my pitch. And uh, then I'm going to guarantee you're going to see other results if you have actually are consistent with calling. Because uh, sales is also a numbers game. You can't expect to, to if, if you have a 100% closing rate on the people you are uh, calling to, you are calling way too, uh, way, uh, way too little. Because uh, nobody, no sales per person in the world have 100% closing rate. Then you are calling too, uh, too, too little people, too then you're calling less people than you should man you should call more people because me myself have a personal hit rate on everything from 30 to to 60 percent of the people i'm calling so with by using this pitch i can guarantee you with some consistency and uh, by calling from 200 to 300 people every day you're going to earn a lot of fucking money man so the first thing, as I said, the pitch, you have to have a big claim and a disclaimer. And what I mean by that, uh, just going to take a very quick and easy example for you guys, uh, so you can understand it right now. And uh, it would go something like this. Now I'm just calling a business owner and I'm telling like this. Dun, dun. Uh, hello, hello, this is Patrick from Ludus Media calling. Uh, I'm talking to the boss, the big boss. And he would say, no, no, or yes, you're talking with the big boss, or no, please wait one minute, I'm going to get him for you, whatever, fuck. But if it's the guy, or you have to wait for the guy, now, when he says yes, or the guy that gets the boss, and he picks up the phone, that's when the first 15 seconds kicks in, okay? Then I'm going to say... I'm sorry to bother you in this troubling COVID-19 time, but I have figured out a method for my clients on how they can get bigger uh, than it was when they got into this crisis, when they are leaving it. Do you have two minutes so I can ask you some quick questions uh, on how this can apply for your business as well? And uh, as I told you guys, uh, you, have to get, uh, uh, you have to get approval every time you want to go to the next step. Uh, first of all, I'm going to say why I said uh, the things I did right now. Uh, the first thing I said to him that I have other clients so, so I'm, I'm familiar with the market. I have done this before uh, and I have helped my clients get out of a crisis or myself. And, 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 uh, and he, he should listen to this because COVID-19 is a troubling time. And if somebody's calling you and saying this to you right now, uh, that is a hot topic. And, and you want at least to use two minutes more of your life to listen what the fuck this guy is saying because your mind is very stressed about your business right now. So the other thing is that I told you guys to get acceptance, to go push forward in the conversation, is to get the clients in a mode, in, in, in a yes mode. Because it's always acknowledging and, and, and giving you the approval to keep on going. Uh, so you're not pushing anything. Uh, it's actually him that allows you to go forward. And, and, and if he keeps on saying yes and yes and yes, and you and say if you got like three yeses in the conversation right now, I told him, can I ask you some uh, some questions? Is that okay for you? That is the first yes, okay? 
And if you get like three of these in a conversation and you can't close the customer in the end, that is because you haven't fulfilled all of these uh, 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 pillars that I talk about. Uh, because uh, he, he probably don't have the trust in you as a person or the company or whatever. But it's your fault because you have gotten the acceptance from him to keep on moving forward. He has said yes. And yes means he, has, he is interested in the things you are telling him right now. And if he, he wouldn't say yes if he wouldn't be any interesting interested in what you're going to say okay so the next next thing i would say to him is that uh, my job as a social media agent is to collect new customers and leads for my clients use by using the internet uh, we have seen uh, uh, some clients double and triple the revenue in just some months and would be very happy to share some of that knowledge uh, with you in this troubling time uh, for totally free. Is that okay for you? And then he would say, probably, yeah, yeah, uh, double the revenue. And, uh, it seems a little bit uh, optimistic and stuff like this. And then I would tell him something. Uh, but just before I say that, sorry, then I got the second uh, approval to keep on moving. Okay, I have two now. I have two approvals. Okay. And remember, this is a cold call. This is a dude you have never talked with before. So it's a cold call. And I don't want to be on a phone that is cold for more than maximum five minutes. After five minutes, I want to close this guy and get him to a Zoom meeting or a personal meeting. Whatever I want to get him to the next step in the sales there is funnel. I want to get the meeting with him where we discuss the details about the, the agreement. But right now I gotten two acceptance from him. I have used approximately 50 seconds of the conversation. Uh, and my next um, next move would be right now would be to 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 tell him, yeah, uh, I know, I know. And uh, almost all of the people we talk with the first time tell us the exact thing you are saying right now. That seems a little bit optimistic, but they are actually my best clients today. But not uh, enough about us and, and, and what we do. I want to know more about you. Is that okay? And then again, I asked him again, is that okay? And I switched the focus over from us as a business owner, as, as my business trying to pitch him something and sell him something. Uh, I'm switching the focus over to, to him so he can, uh, he can uh, begin to talk about himself, okay? Uh, so uh, first of all, I got the third approval I needed for him to be in a mode that is totally in sales mode. He's open up, he's letting his guard down and, and we are becoming uh, conversation buddies, not a salesman, man, because salesmen don't make, make money, man. A conversation, how to communicate with people is the key to, to success in sales. So the next step right now would be to thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to pitch you this idea, man. Uh, First, I just want to tell you that we have figured out a, 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 a method, a strategy on how uh, you can get uh, 2,000 new reviews in the next seven days on Google. Then we're talking four to five star reviews. Can we agree on that reviews are a very important thing for uh, indeed the, the, the people living in New York and also the tourists in New York to, to watch the reviews on Google and Facebook so they can determine where they're going to, to, to eat this time. Uh, can, can we agree on that? That is a very important thing to, to, to have. And then we say, then he would say, of course, yes. And the next thing you would do now to not go through the whole uh, fucking sales conversation, but you can now, uh, in, 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 now we have done the pitch, the beginning, the start of the uh, conversation is done. Uh, and then we have the, the, the middle part where you, where you give the information and all of this. And, and in this part, it's very crucial that you follow my, my, uh, my lead right now. Because this is the place where you are going to collect as much information you can about the client. Okay, so you're going to ask him anything about the client. How much is one client worth for you? How much, how many clients do you have a day? What do you sell the most of? What is your main source to new clients today? Do you use marketing money? How much do you use? What have you done in the past? What do you want to do in the future? How much uh, have you lost the marketing? Which platform are you using? Which platform are you gaining most clients from? Which one do you like the most? Also, the, the, the questions goes on forever. So you, 
don't make it like a fucking three hours, uh, three hours uh, long conversation. Make up uh, five to ten questions to asking every client that are very relevant for you. Uh, 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 so the information they are giving to you are very relevant for you to keep on going in the sales conversation because this is info collection, co collecting. You're collecting the info. You need to close the client in the end because if you haven't asked him these questions, how the fuck can you come in the end and give him a solution on his problem when you don't know anything about his business? I know so many sales pitch guys, sales dudes guys that just read from a uh, from a pitch. Uh, from a from a from a uh, from a paper like this, and just follow the the things that says on this paper, uh, no matter what the clients ask. For God fucking sake, man! If the client have a restaurant and he tells you that he had just gotten a new fryer, do not just then go forward ask the, after he he says, yeah yeah yeah, I like social media. And now we have a new fryer, so we can make more 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 chicken. And then a normal sales guy and every sales guy I know would just go, oh, cool, but uh, can you can you start tomorrow? So so the thing is, when he says something like this to you, that he got a new fryer, this is something that he cares about, that he is excited about. And then you have to fucking work with that, man. Then you have to say, oh, my God, you got a new fryer? Shit, man, how much did it cost? And then you start beginning to ask him questions about this because he bring you a thing that he likes to talk about. And then you're getting a much more uh, better conversation with the guy because you're genuine. You're actually caring about what the fuck he's saying. And then he feels that you have a total understanding of him when you are done in the sales conversation, man. So then you have for sure feel that he you he trusts you man he likes you man because you you listen to him you 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 actually acknowledge the things he said to him and not just focus on the things you want to say to him man you have two ears and one mouth shut the fuck up and let him talk as much as he can man and give you as much information so you can use that in the closing so he he likes you man because you 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 talk about the things he likes to talk about and, and you you see seem genuine man and the other thing when you're collecting a lot of information from him and then presenting him the solution based on the information he have given to you man of course he's going to trust the product because it fits the problems he have it's fucking logic man and the second thing he has to trust the firm and then i will say something like this in the end uh, so mika Thank you so much for the conversation and uh, it seems like you are a very, very forward guy and, and you are uh, business orientated and are ready to take your business to the next level. So for me, it uh, would, be, would be very sick to, to, to take a totally, uh, totally uh, no committed meeting with you where we can throw the ball a little bit around so we can present you the social media strategies we are uh, thinking about. And uh, also just uh, see if this is a fit for you when you have think a little bit more about this. Because as I told you guys, we can triple and double your revenue in the next couple of months. But again, if we can just do half of that, wouldn't that also be a good thing for your business? And then it was said, of course. And the thing you did right here, you have a big claim in the start. You're going to double or triple his revenue. And you go on that through all of the conversation. And he getting more and more sale, sold on this uh, type of uh, uh, thinking that you can double and triple his revenue. But again, he thinking, shit, this is a very huge target. Uh, so maybe, maybe, maybe he, is it true or isn't it true? But when you then say, if we can just make half of it, wouldn't that be awesome? Awesome uh, also. And then he thinks, shit, man, if you can just manage to do half of the things he said to me, that is also going to fucking uh, boost my business 20% up in revenue in a year. So of course, man. So then you have built the trust in your company as well. You just, just don't talk in shit. You're actually fact-checking and reality-checking the person and saying to him, if we can just manage, manage to make the half of it, wouldn't that be awesome as well? So... That is the thing, guys. Then you have the the fulfilled the trust in the, in the firm as well, man. So if you follow these type of uh, advices I give to you right now, I can be damn sure that you're going to to 
to, to get some sales. Tomorrow I'm going to deep dive even more in how to structure your pitch and how you can write your own pitch. Thank you so much for tuning in today also. This is Patrick Tibor Fredrickson with Tibor Vlog. And as always guys, find your fucking hustle, make your money, and do whatever the fuck you feel like. Bye bye.